Today in this lecture we are going to discuss chronic hypertension or simply high blood pressure and its lethal effects on the human body. So what is basically chronic hypertension or what is high blood pressure and what are its lethal effects on the human body. To understand chronic hypertension or high blood pressure first of all we must understand mean arterial pressure or MAP. So basically chronic hypertension chronic hypertension or high blood pressure occurs when the mean arterial pressure or MAP or MAP is more than upper range of normal. When the mean arterial pressure is more than the upper range of normal it is defined as chronic hypertension or high blood pressure and the upper range of normal mean arterial pressure is 90 millimeter of mercury. Now we have already discussed the arterial pressure we have already discussed the arterial pressure and we have discussed the determinants of the arterial pressure. Today we are going to discuss the mean arterial pressure and its significance in relation to the chronic hypertension. So basically mean arterial pressure mean arterial pressure is basically an average blood pressure. Blood pressure is basically the pressure applied on the, by the blood on the blood vessels. Suppose for example this is a blood vessel this is an artery and pressure is being applied by the blood on the walls of these arteries. The pressure applied by blood on these walls is basically known as the BP or blood pressure. This blood pressure this blood pressure applied that is basically the pressure on the walls of the blood vessels it can be measured with the help of sphygmomanometer or blood pressure machine. It can be simply measured with the help of a blood pressure machine. And this blood pressure, the pressure on the walls of the blood vessels, it basically increases in the systole when the heart contracts and it decreases in the diastole when the heart relaxes. So pressure on the blood vessels basically keeps on increasing and decreasing increasing and decreasing increasing and decreasing and this pressure is more in the aorta and it keeps on decreasing towards the capillaries so it's the bp or the blood pressure or the pressure on the insides of the blood vessels is more it is more in the aorta or the large arteries and it keeps on decreasing in the small arteries and it decreases towards the capillaries so blood pressure has two components a systolic component and a diastolic component. Systolic component is defined by the contraction of the heart or the forceful pumping of the blood into the blood vessels and diastole with the relaxation of the heart. But meanwhile there is an average blood pressure an average pressure through which the blood is basically going forward in these blood vessels. This average this average pressure of the blood through the blood vessels is known as mean arterial pressure. But this average pressure, this mean arterial pressure is not the simple average of systolic and diastolic pressure. Rather, it is calculated with the equation which is basically 2 into diastolic pressure plus systolic pressure divided by 3 mean arterial pressure is calculated with the equation which is 2 into diastolic pressure plus systolic pressure divided by 3. If the arterial if the systolic pressure is 115 and diastolic pressure is 73 and we put these values in this equation our mean arterial pressure will be 87 and the mean arterial pressure is around 90 which is basically 87 is around normal almost normal mean arterial pressure. The mean arterial pressure, the normal level of the upper range of the mean arterial pressure is 90 millimeter of mercury. If the mean arterial pressure is more than the upper range of normal, it is then chronic hypertension or high blood pressure. Now mean arterial pressure, mean arterial pressure or MAP or MAP more than 110 
millimeter of mercury is basically considered as hypertensive range. Because normal is 90 millimeter of mercury, so more than 110 is considered hypertensive. More than 110 millimeter of mercury mean arterial pressure occurs when systolic pressure is more than 35 and diastolic is more than 90 millimeter of mercury. Here we see the systolic is 115 and diastolic is 73, so our average is around 87. To get this map of around 1. Uh, 110, we need to have this systolic pressure of 135 with the diastolic around 90 instead of 73. So if we put these values, this 135 and 90 in this equation, we will get the mean arterial pressure around 110 mean arterial pressure, 110 uh, millimeter of mercury. And in severe hypertension, in severe hypertension or chronic hypertension, the mean arterial pressure can rise from uh, up to 150 to 170 millimeter of mercury. In severe cases, in severe cases, it can rise up to 150 to 170. Normal is 90 millimeter of mercury. It is normal MAP. It is not normal BP. Normal BP is around 120 by 80 and blood pressure basically gives the uh, measurement of systolic and diastolic pressure but mean arterial pressure is basically calculated with the help of this equation by putting the values of diastolic pressure and systolic pressure in this equation. Blood pressure can be measured with the help of machine, blood pressure machine. Mean arterial pressure has to be calculated with this equation, but we have discussed in previous lectures that mean arterial pressure or arterial pressure is also equal to, in, to cardiac output into total peripheral resistance. This is another method of calculating the mean arterial pressure, which is basically showing an average flow of blood. BP is showing the pressure of blood on the vessels. Mean arterial pressure is showing an average flow of blood in the vessels. And this average flow normally is around 90. More than uh, one, one, uh, 110, more than 110 millimeter of mercury is basically hypertensive. And to get more than 110 millimeter of mercury map, we must have a systolic more than 135 and diastolic more than 90. And in severe cases, in severe cases, the MAP can increase to 150 to 170 millimeter of mercury, for which we must have systolic and diastolic around 250 and 130. 250 and 130. With the blood pressure, with the systolic and diastolic 115, 1 and 73, our MAP was 87. Our MAP was 87 that was normal almost normal with high map around 110 we need to have the systolic more than 135 more than 135 and diastolic more than 190 and in severe hypertension for map of around 150 to 170 we need to have systolic and diastolic around 250 to 130 but the elevation of arterial pressure or the mean arterial pressure, it basically leads to a shortened life expectancy. It leads to shortened life expectancy and more than 50% increase in the MAP or mean arterial pressure can decrease uh, uh, the life and the, uh, a person cannot live more than few years with a 50% increase in the mean arterial pressure. Now why the why the life expectancy decreases or uh, the mean arterial pressure shortens the life expectancy, how it shortens the life. So basically the lethal effects, the lethal effects of the mean arterial pressure or when the arterial pressure is elevated, which is known as the high blood pressure or chronic blood pressure, its lethal effects include early heart failure, early heart failure and coronary heart disease. Basically, when the arterial pressure is high, now this arterial pressure can increase due to different conditions. It can be due to high volume of the blood. 
because we have discussed the determinants of arterial pressure so there are a lot of factors now if the map is high it can leads to it can lead to heart failure and it can also lead to coronary heart disease so it can basically lead to death due to heart failure because with high map the heart has to pump more and more and more with high pressure so it damages the heart and it also damages the coronary arteries in the heart then increased map or high blood pressure or chronic hypertension can damage the blood vessels in the brain which is basically considered known as cerebral infarction or stroke now depending up, upon the type of blood vessel or uh, the specific blood vessels the stroke or the cerebral infarction which is a uh, damage to the blood vessel it can cause different conditions it can cause blindness it can lead to loss of power it can cause a lot of different conditions now it depends on which area of the brain has been hit it depends on which area of the brain has been hit or blood supply to which part of the brain has been blocked due to stroke or cerebral infarction so this is another little effect of the increased mean arterial pressure because when the and we can see that basically the mean arterial pressure increases only when the systolic and diastolic pressures increase when the systolic diastolic pressures increase uh, we can see that the pressure on the inside of the blood vessels keep on increasing so the chances of damaging the blood vessels keep on increasing with increasing mean arterial pressure then finally the increase in mean arterial pressure or the chronic hypertension or the high blood pressure it can leads to injury in the kidney it can cause injuries in the kidney and it the injuries can be basically renal destruction or kidney failure all these conditions the heart failure coronary heart disease stroke renal destruction and kidney failure all of these conditions can basically uh, cause a shortening of the life or it can basically cause a shortened life expectancy so what basically is chronic hypertension or high blood pressure basically it is a mean arterial pressure that is more than the upper range of normal now what is the normal upper range normal range upper range of mean arterial pressure or map is 90 mm of mercury how mean arterial pressure is calculated mean arterial pressure is calculated through this equation which includes 2 into diastolic pressure plus systolic pressure divided by 3 now what is basically the diastolic and systolic pressure systolic pressure is the pressure in the blood vessels when the heart is contracting diastolic pressure is when the is the pressure in the blood vessel when the heart is relaxing and when the values of these uh, systolic and diastolic uh, pressures are are put in this equation we can calculate the mean arterial pressure normally it should be 90 by 90 mm of mercury for map more than 110 map more than 110 is basically hypertensive and for more map more than 110 we need a systolic more than 135 and diastolic more than 90 for severe hypertension map can rise up to 150 to 170 for which the systolic should be 250 you can see systolic 250 and diastolic up to 130 so these are basically different ranges these are not fixed values and increase what are the lethal effects what are the lethal effects of the increased mean arterial pressure basically the mean arterial pressure leads to shortened life expectancy and the shortened life life expectancy can be due to the heart failure due to damage to the heart or the blood vessels known as the coronary heart disease and it can be due to damage to the vessels in the brain that is basically stroke or cerebral infarction which can cause different conditions like uh, decrease loss of power or uh, blindness or deafness or a lot of other conditions depending on the uh, part of the brain uh, to which the blood vessels has been uh, destroyed or uh, to which the blood flow has been uh, blocked finally the increased map can cause injury in the kidneys which can lead to renal destruction or kidney failure 
So that's all about the chronic hypertension also known as the high blood pressure and its lethal effects. Thanks a lot for watching the video.